when you wake up in the morning and then you're thinking of what to eat again and your man is not buying you a lot, then it hits you. Yep, inflation really affected most countries in the world. Sa panahon po ng pagsak ang ekonomiya at mababa ang halaga ng piso, lalong tumaas ang halaga ng mga bilihin. So how can one survive the continuous rise in the price of our daily commodities? The answer is a tight budget. Pagtitipid ang tanging solusyon. We decided to see what we can buy with $1 here in the Philippines. With today's exchange rate, $1 is equivalent to approximately 59 pesos. My challenge is to buy $1 worth of food for a whole day and I needed to buy it at the grocery mall. Daddy's challenge is to buy his whole day meal at the wet market. And my two boys need to buy it from the street vendors or Karindiria, a hole in the wall resto. And look what happened! The result is, I end up with a banana to run for 25 pesos, sardine for 17 pesos, and 19 pesos for my mixed fruits. I'm on a diet so I don't need a rice. My total bill is 61 pesos, a little over the budget. Dad was a bit luckier. He was able to buy one egg for 7 pesos, one cup of rice for 15 pesos, one hot dog for 10 pesos, and one noodle for 9 pesos, a total of 41 pesos. The boys bought a cup of rice for 15 pesos and 30 pesos worth of fried squid or calamari. They didn't find a barbecue stand, so they just got a double order for two meals and an egg for 7 pesos, with a total price of 52 pesos only. This result shows that you can really eat at least three meals with your one dollar but you can probably stretch it more if you go to the wet market like dad's challenge it is indeed a very challenging times but the key is patience and intelligence to survive in whatever situation we may have if you like this content or found it helpful please, please like, like and, and subscribe, subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification button.